Vito. Do you want to say Vito? Vito. Do anyone else wants to say some swear words? No, thank you. <laughs> uh, Perkele. Yes. Perkele, very good. Yes. It's like a demon. It means like, damn it. Yeah, Perkele is like a small demon. Yes. Maybe I say hello to the audience and then we go on with the discussion that we had. Earlier. Satana. Yeah, Satana also. And Vito. Vito is the most important. Vito. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, I learned. Hello, guys, from the music interview corner. It's still Tuska Day 1, and I'm here with a lot of the lost. And it's an actual corner. Yeah, we're really in a corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why we named it this. We're sitting in a corner yeah. and uh, doing interviews about music. Pai, can you give me the first question? Yes. Oh, yeah, here's my questions. Pai has the questions today. So, Lord of the Lost, thanks for coming to the interview. Yeah. Um, I, thank you for coming as well. You're, you're, you're the new guy, right? I think he was the new guy, but we look kind of similar. Yes, you do. We're both German also. Yeah, true. Um, so, how does it feel to play at... Wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Yeah. That's not true. He's not German. He's just half German. Really? Yes. Half German, half English. Okay, cool. That's why I got the accent, and yes, well, well, I pretend. I was used the opportunity to ask a question. So you filled in when class was sick, and now you were so great that you're a full band member. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, that, that's kind of the funniest thing, because um, at Lordfest and in the three shows in Finland where I played bass, uh, that was a really long fixed in December last year, yes. That was already um, fixed that I'd be joining the band. I mean, Chris asked me in September-ish last year. And so that was the kind of ironic thing that uh, when Lordfest came and it, was, it became clear that Klaus wouldn't be able to play the show and, and Chris was like, hey, could, could you do it? You know, it was like, okay, I, yeah, okay, let's, let's do it. You know, but it was, it was a bit, bit of a surprise. <laughs> Do you want to ask another question, Pai? Yeah, yeah, I'm not so hoarding my questions. You are allowed to. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Which one would you like? It's, yeah. Yeah. I think I would like to talk about Schlachter because it came out today, right? But you yeah, well, question, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, to A, how was it to work with the Tourmillon Catalog guys? To, to A? Yeah, the, yeah, because the first, a. no, but the first, you should have, you're not a professional interviewer. I know, so that's the first question ask. was, yes. <laughs> so, so, I know, but you wanted it. No. I give my guests what they want. <laughs> so, today you released a very special song, it's called Schlachter, and you did it together with Tommy on Catilot. And I wanted to ask you, how was it to work with the guys? <laughs> Before I answer, I need to point out that I have the most beautiful pants in the room. Oh, um, and, and the t shirt, yeah. And it's actually, you know, Turmi on Um Yeah, we, we released uh, the song. And the, the story behind the song is actually it's a very old Turmi on original song called. Wait, I, I have it. I, I have it written down. Wait. Okay. Um, Professional. I give you another chance with the question. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. Oh, it's Teurastaya. Uh, Teurastaya. So that's a very old song of them, and they thought um, it might be a cool thing to maybe get a little more into the German market, uh, which is kind of heavy when you sing in Finnish. So you either go English or which is much more fun in German. Yeah. So they kind of had to take the same challenge, like Finnish people sing in Germans, like I had to take when I decided that I want to sing cha-cha-cha. Yeah, so so yeah. the carrier song, so um, that was fun. So they gave me like an AI kind of translation of um, the lyrics, and I tried to put them into a more singable and more correct German. And I did a German-speaking singing demo for them, so they could actually sing the song in German. Oh, cool. And then we split up the vocals in the end. So it's, it's me singing, them singing, uh, all together. And uh, Schlachter actually means a slaughter. To, no, not just a, but, but butcher, butcher, yeah, not to slaughter, yeah, the bu butcher. But both, the both. Uh, both yeah, and, and so. yeah, so it's, it's the typical um, brutal but kind of funny with a twist, uh, Turmion Kattilöt kind of thing, <laughs> just in German. And uh, yeah, it came out today with a music video. Um, yeah. So. I think the video you partially shot last year in Finland when we played yeah. in December, right? Yeah. That, I think, yeah, it was yeah. like, it, it was when we, when we met last time, yeah. when you were in interviewing us last yeah, time. We were talking about hair. At, at, at Teurata, Kulturitalo. Um, maybe you can just put a little picture of us during the interview from there. Yeah. Now, would you let Jared smell your hair? Yeah. 
If he wants to, do you want to smell my hair? Do I want to? I think so. <laughs> I, 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 I want him to want to. Do you? It smells, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. It, oh, sorry, no. Do, do it has a smell. It? That's, that's it has a, is it a pleasant one yes. or an unpleasant one? Um, yeah, so, so on that day, uh, at, in the backstage room, we shot the scenes for the music video for Schlachter. That's yeah. so cool. And you also did something really cool. It's called the Song Experiment, and I saw it on YouTube. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, but it, it's, it's something everybody thinks now it's, 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 it's a new thing. We did that three or four years ago um, when we released our record Judas in 2021. Mm -hmm. We thought um, it might be an interesting thing to give an instrumental of one of the tracks to many friends of us, to other artists, other bands, and give them the song without telling them uh, the name of the song, without showing them our lyrics and my vocals. It's just the instrumental. And tell them, treat this song like it would be your own idea. Come up with your own vocal melody, with your own lyrics, your own song title. And we did that with 32 artists slash bands. Uh, what we get was, was like 32 new versions of the song and the outcome of the experiment for me was that if you have a different singer and different lyrics it can change not just the mood of the song also how heavy you think the song is and, and the, the genre you kind of feel when you listen to the song suddenly this the song became harder or more whatever uh, a different kind of genre by just changing the singer and the words, and that was very interesting, actually. Mm -hmm. So, cool. It's very cool. I also didn't realize that it was <laughs> old. Or like that it was yeah, no, no, idea. no, 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 no. It's it, it's an old idea, and we had this on bonus CDs, and you can you can stream it um, on Spotify and Co. But we thought because for the original song called Viva Vendetta, we shot a music video, so we we thought it, it's so much fun to actually take all these thirty-two versions and put the audio. Um, beneath this music video and re-release them on YouTube to get more people to see the experiment like, like you, you, you yeah it, it worked yeah. You, you didn't hear of that before now everybody's like wow you did this amazing thing because um, if you put it on a bonus CD it somehow gets lost somehow yeah. between all the stuff you know bonus CDs is something very just for hardcore fans and now more people see it I think that's very beautiful it is it's really cool do you want to add anything no, he said everything perfectly. Do you want to read off? Do you want to ask another question to your bandmates? No, it's your interview, please. No, 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 no. <laughs> but you're so excited about it. Really. I am excited about the interview. Oh, okay. I, I, think, I think it would be really funny if you could um, ask another question, answer it yourself. Do you want to do that? Yes. Which one? Let's okay, here you. Uh, I, think you I can pick it. Okay. I think this one would be really good. Okay. Number nice. Three. Yeah. You have a new live CD and DVD. It's called Lord of the Lust Live at Wacken Open Air. And it's coming out on August 2nd, 2024. Can you tell us more about that? <laughs> yes, so the title says it all. We played live at Wacken Open Air last year in August, um, 4th of August, I think, at night. Um, it was a beautiful conclusion um, to a very, very busy year till then already because we were on tour in South America. We did the Eurovision thing. Um, we did Maiden again. Um, <laughs> again, you're so cool. Again. <laughs> you know, how cool you are. Yeah, yeah I, I mean... You have to say that again. Right? Maiden again, guys. Yeah, because it's not self-explanatory and not something that happens to you. You would never think, and you n will never feel worthy, but somehow it happens. Is it like in Wayne's world, we're not worthy? Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But, but I think you are worthy if they get you to do that twice. Then, Thank you. Later, like, we're not worthy again. <laughs> We're still not worthy, um, but yeah. Um, and this, and this uh, live DVD, as I said, it comes out on August second, and on in earbook version, it comes out in a box version. No, not a box version. What's it called? Digipack. Digipack version. CD. CD. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, in one pack. And it's DG. Yeah. And I think for us, it's also a beautiful gift to us because I think looking at that now, uh, you will realize it in a very, very different way what, what happened there. Because when you're on stage there, you don't really um, yeah, yeah. get everything. That's cool. So even if you would be, I don't think you were, but fully drunk, you can see you. And oh, no. That you didn't remember. No, we you were. were just so much in the ecstasy of playing, I guess. 
Yeah. You could say so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, yeah, please. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to see yourself from the outside, right? Yeah, but what kind of fun was fun about the Wacken show, I mean, me still being stage manager at the time, not being part of the band at the time yet, um, was that we played after Maiden that evening. So, uh, the, the, the deadliner kind of, yeah. So it was a nice finish to the second tour with Maiden being like, okay, now they make the show and they free the stage for us. That was pretty cool. Nice. Yeah. So Maiden was your support band? <laughs> I think maybe no. <laughs> I'm not sure who is not worthy here. Maybe we maybe have to discuss that with Maiden at some point. But uh, I guess I'm not worthy. I'm sure the comments will tell us. <laughs> yeah, probably. There's like, I need to add one thing. Um, we started the whole year last year. We started with a song called "The, the Curtain Falls," uh, as we did today, and we had some kind of live intro for that. Uh, with you know, you come on stage with like just it, an intro from the computer. And um, this intro didn't have a name until last year. And when we played there after the Maiden show, right when the intro started, the stage manager of Maiden came to us. And at the Maiden show, he was always like lighting our way with his torch, you know, like so we don't fall when we go on stage. And he did the same for us after Maiden played. So he just came to us as as an as a gesture of. Um, Your worthiness. Yeah, of, of, as a gesture of respect and friendship, and come to us and light our way. And from this day on, this intro uh, had a name. Now it's called Lighting, L Lighting Our Way. Lighting Your Way? Lighting Your Way. The way? Lighting The Way. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 sorry. L lighting The Way. It's because of Gary, the stage manager of Iron Maiden. And um, yeah, I told him a couple of days after Wagner was like, you know what, we, we just named that intro. So if you look at the CD, at the backside of the CD, you see Lighting The Way. That's because of the Iron Maiden stage manager. It's some kind of hats off to, to him, our sign of respect and friendship. Nice. But I think we have to discuss the worthiness thing again, because I feel you're much more worthy than you believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a good thing. Uh, it, it, it would be wor worse the other way around, you know. Yeah, yeah that's so. Oh yeah, and I was just since our last interview, I was wondering if your hair might smell different now because uh, it's I, green and yellow now. Yeah, I didn't wash it till then, so it, it smells really? different. Should I should I dare to smell it or better not? Go for it. It's there. It, it smells a little like like spray thing. Yeah, but it smells also a bit like sunshine. <laughs> Unwashed sunshine, the, maybe. The, the sunshine has a smell. Yeah, this just smell your own air. That's what I think sunshine smells. Now I know. <laughs> the more you know, thanks. Yeah. And you know, for our interview again, I prepared something special. I washed it with conditioner and rice water. Rice water? Yeah, that makes it so shiny. You want to oh. touch it? Yeah. It's just ready now because. So you know, the, this this is our thing. We we just smell each other's hair, not just not just on the head, but we can't do that right now. You know, that's how I got the interview in the first place. <laughs> Sorry. Now I we're told you not to say that. Cut that out. We're gonna cut that out. <laughs> but let's see. Maybe we can just uh, pretend we have normal questions for the interview. <laughs> oh yeah. No, no, no. Oh yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Um, Maybe we can do something fun now. Uh, what do you like most about each of your bandmates? And are there things you don't like? Benji, you want to start? God, the pressure. Um, if, if each and one just the guys who are here now. Yeah, like, oh, you guys who are not here. Shall you say what you don't like? Oh, it's about the guys who are not here. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll start with, uh, with Jared because um, we have a common interest in way more music theory than us should concern being metal musicians but we have a love for for music in its in its theoretical depth and uh open up to the more jazzier side of things sometimes and oh look at this c major add 927 chord things like that and that's always just a lot of fun class has a pure yeah <laughs> Glass has such a pure love for Warhammer at the moment that I just find it absolutely gorgeous to watch. And Nick has such a um, resilience. No matter what happens, no matter if we have some issues before the show or something, he's always there. He always gives 120% and is so concentrated and so like um, full on no matter what happens that I really respect. Cool. That was beautiful. So, if you can top that. Oh, now the pressure is on. <laughs> um, for for Jared, for Garrett, I should say, he changed his name. Yeah. <laughs> He's Garrett again now. He's Garrett again. He identifies as Garrett now. Okay, yeah, so, exactly. He is... I wanted to look beautiful for you, but now the fat tries to come out. So. <laughs> I know that problem. We don't, we don't body shame here. 
shall I borrow you this if you want to try this on? No, 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 no. no. It's not like that. <laughs> but when you want to smell my hair, it doesn't really make a difference. Oh, yeah. But it's sorry if you didn't. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at your red, <laughs> your red corset. <laughs> you know, yeah, this is what I get when I try to look pretty for you. But at least my hair is perfect just, today. Just, just for us. Yeah, because I didn't have time to switch my outfit earlier. Are we worthy? Are we worthy? Oh, talking, yes. And do you remember this? Yes, that was mine. Yeah, this is from Kingdom Come, and you gave this to me after we filmed the tattoo session. When you got the transsexual dolphin. You were yes, there when we filmed that? Yes, I have a documentary yeah, wait, 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 of that. Did that. You were there? Yeah, Tavastia. Yeah, I, I did that at Tavastia in Finland, in the backstage. You yeah, and there. we filmed it. You said you can film it. We had an interview, and then you said, you can film it for I, I a music thought, interview. Corner. Thought, it's called I Lord thought, of the Lost Tattoo Special. I thought I gave it to you this one night where you disappeared so early, and I woke up all sad and broken. <laughs> No, I think you, you gave this to me so that you, that you wouldn't wake up all set and broken. And then I left early. Did I pay you with that? I'm not sure. I don't remember the details any much. It's oh, just so God. sad that there's not a video of it. So we could see ourselves from the outside. I and think Kai wanted to say something. Yes. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening because this is evolving into a thing that we never would have expected. You know, so by the way, it was the other way around. But I got Chris's permission you, to turn you it. You paid me for that? <laughs> no, no. I, the turn, I turned across. It was kind of more the other way around. But I'm oh, yeah. across it's this way. It Last turn. turn. So, so, yeah. so you wear them the wrong way? I wear them the right way. Yeah, now we have to discuss who's not worthy. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it like that, it just... Uh, th this is why I, I, I wear them like, like this, because when I look at them, they're oh. right. Maybe it's so right. What, is right and, what is right and what is wrong? Yeah, maybe it's... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so much ways to fix it, you know? But you can't move now. No. Otherwise it I will fall. You can also not move because of this. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah. That, does it stay up like that all night? We will see. <laughs> <laughs> Does somebody, did someone ask that you recently? Were you asked that question recently? That's what she said. Oh, yeah. Okay, you are okay, Sorry, what? Oh, no, it's all good. <laughs> question was, but you keep answering. See? Oh. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, didn't, it didn't stay up. It didn't stay yeah, up, but that's okay. It finds a way, you know. So, since we're already so, so um, yeah. funny, yes, <laughs> talking about Garrett... Yeah, right. He is very, very, I mean, in some moments he's not serious at all, where it maybe doesn't fit, but overall, his way to look at life is very fatalist in a good way. And I really like that, and I can learn from that. Um, as you said, Nick is, he is calm in every situation, even a situation where you shouldn't be calm. <laughs> But you can look at him and get some of that um, calmness for yourself. Mm, with class, he always tries to make sure that everybody's happy. And I think that's something very selfless. And I really like that about him. Yeah. Chris, you're worthy. Uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, sadly, both of them just said exactly what I was about to say, which is not fair, which is something I really don't like about them. Next time I ask you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, no, yeah. No, 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 seriously, you know, everything I could say right now would just be like um, random stuff, not, mm -hmm. not the major things, major things. Um, so, 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 so they all said that. Yeah, that's, I, I'm sorry, that's just a general thing we do. Great. What else do we have? Well, we wanted to talk about do the tour. Some, do you have some private questions? Oh, some private questions. <laughs> yes. Actually, you, you don't. <laughs> you, yeah, right. Oh, private. Oh, no, I get it. Yeah. Do you also know private dancer? Um, <laughs> you, you, do you mean the musical or the song or both? Or no, like? I, I was thinking of a joke from the series Scrubs. But because there's a the guy, the military guy, who I gets admitted, and his name is Private Dan. I used to watch Scrubs like a zillion years ago, mm -hmm. like like the first, the, the first four, yeah, four, five seasons, something. But I, I but don't. It was still funny. Yeah, but, but I don't remember shit from it. But I, I, I liked it a lot back then. So, okay. but I don't remember. It. Yeah. Yeah. So my other question would be: You're going on a U.S. tour in September, right? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> why only hopefully? Uh, because last time we tried in 2017, it didn't work out with the visa and stuff. Uh, um, yeah. This time, now we have our appointments at the uh, the embassy in Berlin, 
And I, that's pretty much 99%. Of course, things can go wrong. Um, you never know um, if, when you apply for a visa, but, but we are in, in good belief uh, that we can make it there. And then we, we're going to play the US and Canada in September. Cool. Yeah, visa is, uh, can be a pain in the ass. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, it's a long, long, long process um, because if you want to work there and doing music means mm -hmm. you, you work, that's not like a tourist visa. So it's, it's, it's a long it's process. It's an O1? Oh, which one do you have? A P1? Uh, P1. 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 It's a P1 yeah. visa. And it's, yeah. I was just thinking your name is on it. Yeah, and you know when USCIS says no, it feels like USCIS is saying to you, you're not worthy. That's a shitty feeling, right? And you, you have to prove... Uh, that, that you're you worthy. somehow worthy to yeah. go there, but uh, yeah, they want to know a lot. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to add anything to the visa shit? No. No, but we love we love <laughs> Homeland Security. I mean, we love them, and we these guys are worthy. Believe me. Thank yeah. you. Do you also want to talk about Lot Fest? It's happening too. It's in December, and uh, maybe you can tell already a bit about it. Oh. How many minutes do we have? As soon as possible. Two. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have Lord Fest number three this year, which is our own festival. And this is all I can say because it's just like you know th that was the perfect answer. You all should come to Hamburg to Hampuri. Yeah, Hampuri, very yeah. good. And I wanted to ask you quickly. We have to stop, but they are yeah. In the past, the transsexual dolphin had just this uh, bubble here, yeah. but there was nothing in it, and you wrote "Lucky You" in it with the ball pen last time. Why is there an M now? Uh, that's for Mark. It's a friend of mine, uh, Dr. Mark B. The mortician. Dr. Mark Benecke. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so this is for him. Oh, because he has the same, right? Yeah, I, I, yeah. Actually, I did this because I lost a bet against him mm -hmm. because he ha also has a blue banana um, mm -hmm. tattooed. So I did. For, so this is for him. And this was actually I, he actually tattooed the M, or or was it his his girlfriend I, or wife? Oh. I don't remember. But I think it was him. Yeah. Cool. In some backstage as well. Cool. And I think we have to say goodbye. I wouldn't. I would goodbye. smell your hair for hours. But um, yeah, we have yeah, to. Yeah, I. Goodbye. I'll see you later tonight. So it's okay, all fine. Yes. Some hair tonight. Yeah. So I, it's because I want to get my cross back. <laughs> you have to. You have to earn it. You have to be worthy of it. Oh God. I'm so I'm afraid now. I'm gonna go. No, it's okay. Okay. So uh, thank you so much, Lord of the Lost, bye -bye. and goodbye from the music interview corner. Goodbye. This has to be heavily censored. <laughs>